All right, so let's talk about the most exciting part of crypto, which is altcoins. Over the last couple of months, everyone has been trying to accumulate more, whether we're talking about Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, or even some other meme coins like Shiba Inu or Dogecoin. Bottom line is, everyone has been trying to accumulate more altcoins so they can prepare for the massive rally we were expecting in the second half of 2021. Interesting thing is though, right now we are finally starting to see altcoins break out after weeks of just seeing Bitcoin dominate the headlines in the crypto market. So today's video, we're gonna talk about everything going on, but before we dive into that, there's still a couple of spots left in our Patreon group. So if you guys like to join us for our daily live streams, buy and sell alerts, um, private member discord, and a lot of other exclusive content, we'll make sure to join the Patreon group using the link down below. But anyways, right now, a couple of interesting things are going on with the overall crypto market. The first is that we're getting closer to reaching an all-time record high for the overall crypto market cap. We're at a $2.4 trillion market cap for crypto when our all-time record high was at $2.5 trillion. This is a key level, much like you would look at the price of Bitcoin or Ethereum and look at, let's say for Bitcoin, the $60,000 per coin line, the $2.5 trillion line for uh, the overall crypto market is very key moving forward. Second thing going on is that we're also seeing Bitcoin getting very close to closing at an all-time record high for a weekly close. Bitcoin's price has never closed above $60,000 um, for the weekly charts. This is surprising. Many people thought, you know, well, we Bitcoin's price has gone as high as $65,000 per coin that we would have seen this. But we have actually never seen Bitcoin's price cross uh, close on the weekly charts above $60,000 per coin. And as we're getting closer and closer to this, this is a very, very bullish sign. For crypto so this is just like talks of what's going on in the market you know a couple of overviews but let's dive in let's talk a little bit deeper about the charts and then also with a couple of altcoins and how high they can go these are ones i'm very bullish on ones i talk about all the time in our discord in the patreon group so first thing is with regards to plan b the creator of the stock to flow model he came out and talked a little bit about obviously we know his bitcoin price predictions saying that bitcoin's price will reach $135,000 per coin by the end of 2021, but it just came out and tweeted about this, how we're finally seeing Bitcoin's RSI get above 70, which is starting to get in the overbought territory, but this is very important because this is a signal that we are going to see the double peak, the two peak formation that we have seen back in 2013 and in the 2017 bull market. If we look at this chart right here, we can see back in 2013, RSI went well above 95 before dropping significantly below 70, only to bounce back. And that is exactly what we're seeing this bull market as well. We saw it go above 90, drop back down below 70, and now we're starting to climb back up, indicating that we are going to see a record high price. And then we're going to see this two peak um, bull run for the overall crypto market. Second thing going on in terms of technicals is with regards to um, overall how high Bitcoin's price can go. Everyone has been talking about, well, is Bitcoin's price going to reach $100,000 per coin? This bull market is going to reach 200, 300,000. How high is Bitcoin's price is going to go? Well, if we look at historical charts, what we're seeing is back in 2013, 2017, the high of the market topped out at that 5.618 linear Fibonacci um, extension level. This is very important because this time around, if we were to see that same top, which has been predicted back in 2013 and 2017, it would put Bitcoin's price right around that $250,000 to $300,000 per coin range. This isn't by the end of 2021. This is at the end of this bull market. So more like the first half um, or first quarter of 2022. So everything in terms of technicals are looking great. We're also seeing a number of other positive catalysts come out for Bitcoin like this, um, options expiration, which is coming up very soon of $820 million. Bears are getting killed. We're seeing the SEC looking to approve a Bitcoin ETF, most likely in November, and hopefully even a Bitcoin futures ETF a little bit sooner. But so now everyone is like gearing up. They have all their altcoins accumulated and they're getting ready for this massive breakout. So what I've been doing, if you guys haven't seen the video, the other day we talked about the top 10 altcoins that I have personally been accumulating. Now that we're starting to see a couple of signals showing us that we are about to break out and reach record highs, I'm going to double down on a couple positions, one of them being Polkadot. Polkadot recently had a massive, massive rally because of an announcement that the Polkadot community approved parachain 
auctions. This was huge, causing Polkadot's price to go up over 20% in a single day because, if you don't know, this has been something that Polkadot has been working on for over five years. This was like what they said was the last um, piece of Polkadot's core functionality. So they've been working on this for five years and we finally saw a date announced for the pair chain auctions taking place on November tw uh, 11th and December 23rd. So now everyone's saying, well like, are all coins in general, are Polkadot um, and other coins that maybe have had big rallies, are they gonna be able to continue to rally? And my opinion is yes, 100%, all of these altcoins, whether we're talking about Polkadot, whether we're talking about Solana, whether we're talking about Cardano, whether we're talking about Polygon or any altcoin you're in, at this point, now that we've seen a couple of key things happen with technical indicators in the market, I'm expecting to see a massive rally for all coins, not just Polkadot, which has recently risen, but also for any coins that we might have seen not really move. So I just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on with the overall technical indicators. Um, my thoughts on Polkadot a bit, how, you know, right now we're seeing a very bullish trend, technical indicator and inverse head and shoulders pattern form on the charts indicating that we're gonna enter a price discovery mode, break through record highs of $50 per coin and break higher. But ultimately what we're seeing right now is that no matter what altcoins you're in, you wanna be in right now. This is really your last chance to accumulate a bit more before we start to see the breakout happen, before we see the total crypto market cap surpass that $2.5 trillion range, and before we see everything really break out. So anyways, let me know your thoughts. Um, sorry about this video running a bit longer, but there was a lot to talk about. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.